Ampetu Washte, Lorraine Imachiapi. Uchi Lorraine Imachiapi. I am Grandma Lorraine, and today I'm going to read you the story Chatkasha Zuya Iayeke, Turtle Goes to War. It is a story that was recorded by Ella Deloria, and it is um, edited by Jan Ulrich. The glossary was created by Marek Kupik, and the illustrations and layout are by Allison Horner. And again, it's produced by the Lakota Language Consortium. Patkasha Kahena Zuya Yahanshke. Turtle was going on a warpath. Yuka Kheawan El Una Chie Dokia La Huo Ea Chanke Ish Ele Zuya Blelo Ea Ayukta Yuka Itrochie Unyink Delo Ea Chanke Kichi Yashke. And here is what happened Turtle was going to uh, on the warpath. And his older brother asked, where are you going? And he said, I'm going on the war path just because. And so his brother said, I think I will go with you. Yuka chahota glakia hiayi na wawi chayanka chanke pat khag inajike. Dokia lapi huo ea cha then a cloud of ashes passed by and saw them. The cloud of ashes stopped and asked, Where are you two going? They told him, and so he said, I should go with you. Wana yamani hechesh yahampi kum. Zicha wa ish ea opa ka kea. Chanke wana do zuya yapike. Now three were going, and Squirrel said, I too want to join Turtle. So now four were going on the warpath. Ake traleza wa enat, uswecha wa enaus ahi o prapi. Chunkbe wana shakbe picha, i pahlaya, doke e chacha lawan yahampike. These two, bladder and dragonfly, came to join. So now there were two, each side by side, in a line, and it is said that they went along casually singing. Troka tipiki. I hunipi shni echel, wakbala wan i yure hapi, yu khan lila khli khlila, chanke keaki kha kha khli na, do kha hi yushni ki u ikhpea iayapike, hechesh zabdala hetaha iayapike. They arrived at the home of the enemy. But they didn't see the creek that they crossed, and here it was really muddy. So Turtle got stuck. The enemy would be coming, so they knew that they should leave. So now, only five of them left. You can call it huhu chawa hanka hancha ochlate iayapi. You can hell enana uta lila ota. Hieya ke. Hechena chish zijaki sampraya okihi shni chanke ena ichpeapi na heta iayapi ke. There was a big black oak tree and under it was a lot of acorns scattered about. So immediately squirrel went up in there and he abandoned them. Dob wana zuya yapik u, ugna hanla hate hiu yukha, cha hota woblu iye yake. Now there were four going on the warpath. Suddenly the wind began to blow, and here is what happened. The cloud of ashes said it suddenly 
began to snow. Kal chahu lohu o juju wa egna chanku yapi yukha el wahpepek wa wapcheka ota chanke chaleza iuchlecha chanke snizake. There was a field of weeds that they used as a path. There was a lot of Russian thistle, and so bladder tore and deflated. Hoana tchuswecha patgasha kichila owichakap tapike. You can't tchuswecha psha ingla chankah chankahu iglushluta. Well now, dragonfly and turtle were spared. Then dragonfly suddenly sneezed out his spine, and right there he laid down. Chatgasha heake e ehanish mishnala wa ushni. Eyi na wana choka tipiki egna iayeke. Yukha oyateki wa duwa lechi akaha uelo. Eapi na lila ikik opike. In the beginning, he said, I wasn't coming alone. Now I am among the home of the enemy, and the people say that someone from this place is coming. And they are really excited about it. Ichupi na wia ki iota washtela kapina. Ma chuish washtela ke. Dakula hue. Ea o sha umpike. They took him, and the woman really liked him. She said, Gee, how very cool. It's a little creature to be coming around here. Dakwe hi ki iu khampi chanke zuya wa hielo e a yu kha o jela daku o kha wo wi haya zuya hilaye e ya pi ki wiya ki iu ha Ma zuya hilash sechewa. Daku ko kipe pchela hue. Ea pike. Pcheta ko yaki pchela he. Ea pi yukhan. Hoch he daku wo koki pcheka. Chash eake. They asked him why he came there, and he said, I'm going on the warpath. How cute, she said. That is so sweet. What an act to go there. Look, what is it he fears? She said, fire? Do you fear it? And disapprovingly, he said, certainly not. That was scary. Chanke cheta daku wo koki pre seche ki iuha. Chanze ya tapi keash henash. Ito kashni keashke. Ish e hena iuha koki pre eash. Ich an eashke. O hankeka minima hel. Ich peapita keapi. You can't hatch an ite nahima chea unshke. From there, he was scared. And in fun, they say she had to name him. But never mind those who have fear or are scared. So at last, they let him in the water. But immediately, he turned his face because he was crying. Hecha. Echelia kohwa ki pre kun eina chea un chanke ayapina mini chokab ich peyapi shke. He said, 
Only this kind did I fear. I'm crying because they left me in the middle of the water. Ias e mahel iaye chanke kahwinch glichupik da yukhan echan glinapchi na akish ash a nuan hiaye ke hechena doki otan glichuke. It was hard to leave because turning around meant he would be going back. Just then, he came up from the water and he gave a war whoop as he swam past his people. And they started to come back. Tiata lihuni chanke pratkasha oyateki woyushki u wachipishke. Lehan tua daku wanjichi cha kesh nahan unkuza chanshna lakotati wo eye wan eapiki hele e. Pratgasha cha mnil ayapik des e eapis a. And so the turtle tribe came home to be happy and dance. Today they say, when someone wants something really bad, you pretend to resist it or hold back. And the Lakota have a saying. It is said, to be this way is to be a turtle in the water. It only goes that far. So, Pilamiyaye, thank you for listening to Turtle Goes to War. Again, Lorraine. Uh, Unchi Lorraine Machiapi. My name is L uh, Grandma Lorraine, and I read you Turtle Goes to War by the Lakota Language Consortium. Pilamiyaye, doksha ake wachionkite. See you later.